Okay guys, so today I'm going to go through setting up your comma 3 and installing OpenPilot. So I am going to do it on my desk, um, but if you attempt to do this on your desk, make sure you have appropriate power. I'm using a USB-C to USB-A uh, cable connected to a USB power outlet on my desk that is um, using wall power. So if you get random reboots while you're trying to do this, then you probably don't have adequate voltage to the device and you need to check and make sure you have the appropriate voltage. So if it's randomly restarting itself, then you probably don't have enough power. This can even happen in your car while installing it. If you don't have the ignition on and your battery is weak, it could cause a brownout and the device will reboot itself. So if you're trying to go through this process and the device is randomly rebooting, um, I suggest checking the voltage or using a different power source. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, get better exposure. So another thing I'm going to show you, I can connect to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip that. We're going to do it with the SIM card. So we're going to continue without Wi-Fi. And now you have two options, the dash cam software or custom software. If you're wanting to install OpenPilot, that would be under custom software. So hit continue. In here, we type in the address, which is openpilot.comma.ai. Now, some people are aware that you can use fork installers like Shane's. Right now, at the time of this recording, it does not work with the comma 3. So please make sure if you're installing a fork or you're trying to do anything besides install the stock software that you know what you're doing because any other address besides this one and the address for uh, the nightly directory for installing master CI um, those are only two that I know that work as of recording this so the best thing I would recommend is install the standard version of OpenPilot and then go and possibly install a fork later once you've verified that the fork works with the comma 3. It might work with your comma 2, might not work with your comma 3. So if you're one of the early adopters of the comma 3, one of the first people buying it, make sure you follow this and don't try and go off and do a custom install. I've seen people already have problems where they need to reflash because they tried to do a custom install and didn't work. So now it's going to download, and you'll see how long it takes over LTE. Remember, I'm not connected on Wi-Fi. And that's it. I didn't even speed it up. So it registers the device, and now we're in the terms and conditions. So if you're unfamiliar with these, please read them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll. Read most of this before, so I'll hit agree. Now we're on the training menu. Bring my brightness up a little bit. Okay, so this is a new menu. Hit begin training. Explaining what OpenPilot is, the things we need to do. Feel free to pause any moment. Here's an important thing. Uh, if you don't have a lead car indicator, if you don't see the Chevron right here, that means that your vehicle is using the stock cruise control and OpenPilot is not controlling it. It is your stock system controlling it. So if you don't see this, it's your stock system. If you do see this, that tells you OpenPilot is controlling the gas and brake in your car. So you engage with your cruise control. 
uh, set, resume. Driver monitoring, distracted driving. Now, if you want to upload and see your in-car camera footage, then you hit yes here. If you don't do this, it doesn't record the in-car cab or the in-cabin camera. So I want to contribute to the data, so I'm gonna hit yes. Adjust the max speed. Of course, lane change is now 30 miles an hour. Disengage open pilot with the gas or the brake. Here are the things open pilot can do. Here are the things open pilot does not do. And that's it. So we finished training. And now my device is ready to be put in my car and going through calibration. Okay, so the next thing I think everyone should do is go to network, advanced, and then enable SSH. This way, if you ever have a problem with your device, you will be able to SSH into it. So to add your SSH keys, you need a GitHub account. There are some other tutorials on how to set up your SSH keys. So please look those up and enable SSH and uh, connect to Wi-Fi so you can see what your IP address is. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so now that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, remember your IP address so you can SSH. So this will help you SSH into your device. And uh, if you ever get a problem where it doesn't boot correctly, you can possibly fix it with SSH. And now as far as uh, doing Common Connect and Common Prime, I will show you how to do that now uh, with your cell phone. Okay, so just use your cell phone, any app that can scan QRs and scan the QR code to pair. And here I'm just gonna open Chrome automatically brings you here and sign in with whatever account you want and once it signs in to comma connect that's it you're paired now if you want to sign up for prime you hit sign up right here go down you put in your information you do get three months free but you still need to put in your information to activate it so once you do that you should be good to go all right that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them below. And thanks for watching.